Late breaking tonight, three people are dead, hit and killed while doing utility work in Lake County. Chopper 2 was over the scene shortly after that accident in the southbound lanes of US 27 at Quarterside Way. All southbound lanes have now reopened to traffic. West 2's Gail Pascal Brown has the latest. We're about 12 miles outside Claremont, and do you see this utility pole here? There was a six man crew working on this utility pole. Three in vehicles, three on the ground. The three on the ground were killed, and the Highway Patrol says they never saw it coming. This triple fatality happened as a 92 year old driver in a Cadillac attempted to pull out of Cornerside Way here in Lake County. The Highway Patrol says Ira Caldwell Jr. of Davenport was attempting to make a right turn onto southbound US 27. A Chevy Lumina driven by 20 year old Alexandra Schultz of Claremont was traveling southbound. Troopers say the caddy pulled into the direct path of the other car. Three construction workers from Georgia putting up a power pole were killed. The front of the Chevy Lumina struck the rear of the Cadillac. The Chevy Lumina then went off onto the right shoulder where workers were doing utility services. Uh, three workers were struck and pronounced dead on scene. Um, the driver of the Chevy Lumina was transported to South Lake Hospital with minor injuries. The 92 year old Cadillac driver is okay. He's still on the scene. FHP does not suspect alcohol was involved in this crash. Among other factors, troopers will look at the speed of both cars to determine who's at fault. FHP says the workers, all from Georgia, had taken all safety precautions. I would say they were a good 15 to 20 feet off the road. Again, they had a orange or a yellow. Um, metal fence up around the area that they were working as a barrier. They had safety vests on, hats, all the safety gear. Um, you know, the new law did start um, this last year that's included service workers as drivers need to move over one lane if service workers are there. There were lights activated. The Florida Highway Patrol is working with the Georgia Highway Patrol to notify next of kin. That's when they'll release the name of the three victims. I'm Gail Pascal Brown in Lake County for West 2 News.